Right folks, today we're going to eventually make it up to the Two Hearted. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Striker? Come on. What do you do? I'm ready to go. I've been here since 5 in the morning. <laughs> Come on. So we taxied out and started making our way toward Michigan's Upper Peninsula and our ultimate destination, the Two-Hearted River. We knew there would be some other people en route. It was going to be a great Michigan bush coming to get. It always put us a smile on our face, turn northbound, and leave the big city behind us as we venture upward toward the trees and fields of North Michigan. While we are a bunch of city slickers, we feel at home in the country. All right, Great Michigan Bush Company, here we are. En route to the uh, Two-Hearted River for the first time in a couple of years. I guess we were there early last year, but uh, we hoped to go yesterday. Got held off by some thunderstorms in the area. It sounds like no one made it yesterday. So uh, today is the day uh, we hope to make it. Hey, Striker, say hi to everyone. Whoever I'm saying hi to, hello. Saying hi to the Great Michigan Bush Company video gr crew here. Oh, Great Michigan Bush Company crew. I just finished uh, a little piece of cheese and a yogurt, and uh, looking forward to some fun. Glad I'm not in your plane. It's looking like about an hour in flight, or an hour to the next stop anyway. We've been up about an hour. Uh, open Lake Superior is nice. We, again, it is bumpy and, uh, well, we got a slow ride up there. Hopefully a fast ride home though. All right, John, say hi for the cameras. Hi guys, how you doing? Stop at Pelton uh, and get a little bit more fuel before I headed up to Duharden. You're going to Pelston, okay. Well, I mean, we could meet you in Pelston, probably. I just picked Pelston because it looked like the friendliest uh, airport uh, runway directionally to the wind, that's all. Okay. Yeah, Sheboygan's got one that's going pretty much into the wind, and it was 35 cents cheaper. That's why we chose Sheboygan. I can head over to Sheboygan. Do you want to do that? Okay, yeah, it was kind of a coin toss but for us between Pelson and Sheboygan. I got a big wheel of cheese I can give you. That's how Sheboygan became our rally point before departing for the Upper Peninsula. On the ground, we got some fuel, spent a few minutes talking, coming up with a plan on how to complete the mission to the Two-Hearted, and of course, we had some fun. Shabokin Airport is just south of the Mackinac Bridge and always has a reasonable price on fuel and has become my normal stop before going to the Upper Peninsula. On a summer sunny day, there's always other aircraft around and at least one other pilot just hanging around looking for some company. Uh, trip is the coffee. I like the coffee. The coffee is important. So over here we've got the coffee maker with no coffee in it. But I brought my own instant coffee. So I'm going to use the microwave, brew me up some coffee, 
And uh, while well, instant coffee isn't real coffee, it's better than nothing. And if you live down in like, South Africa or Australia, they think it's better than regular coffee. I'm not sure why. Um, I guess they haven't had good coffee. But anyway, in Sheboygan Airport, get in the coffee. So it's Hollywood? You, you've been hanging out enough that you finally got... <laughs> you got a name. Finally. <laughs> finally? Most people, uh, they're, they're upset they got the name. Yeah. <laughs> As you depart Sheboygan Airport, you're only about 10 minutes from the Mackinac Bridge. The Mackinac Bridge is a five mile long suspension bridge that connects Michigan's Upper Peninsula and Lower Peninsula. The Upers live in the north and the Trolls live in the south. Once you cross the bridge, you enter a whole other world, or a whole different part of the state. It's nothing like the Lower Peninsula. Lots of trees and very few people. It is Michigan's bush flying. So the Two Hearted River is in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Michigan's Upper Peninsula is the uh, area of Michigan with the. Uh, uh, you know, low low population. It's the it's Michigan's uh, country. Uh, it's can be hilly in some areas, dense forests, uh, really sparse population. Where we're going, the uh, nearest town is 25 miles south. So it's our back country, even better than back country. It's uh, you know our bush bush flying. Wayne Cole states it best in his book, Happy Flying Safely. The north woods of Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and northern Michigan, with their myriad of lakes and millions of acres of forest, are the easiest place in the country to navigate because of almost perfect reproductions of lakes on the sectional charts. But they are strictly follow road areas for single engine land airplanes. In some of the most beautiful land by the shores of the Gitchigumi, a forced landing could be fatal. The only roads are narrow logging slashes to the forest, which would be, at their best, hazardous places to land. The alternative would be landing in one of the cold rock-bound lakes, or a full stall crash into the tall, dense trees. To top that off, if the pilot should land unhurt, he is still in trouble because he has to find his way out. Because of this, in the Upper Peninsula, I always fly IFR. I follow roads.
The Two-Hearted Airport is nestled alongside Lake Superior and is known to have some gusty crosswinds. The undulating runway also catches some pilots off guard, leading to a bouncy landing. You can always tell a pilot who's been into the two hard before. A little experience goes a long way when landing here. It's got a lot of brown, doesn't it? Hey, Striker! Yeah. We're calling your aircraft Puddin. Your aircraft's name is Puddin. 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 Because it's all brown. <laughs> like, <laughs> we made your decision yet? No. Yes, he's staying. There's a little kickback from two important females in my life. So is this the silver streak or the silver bullet? Or what we need to know is what does Hollywood fly? Leave it in the comments below. Let us know what let us know what you think Hollywood's plane should be called. Hollywood is named after Hollywood night. And this is the silver bullet band. A little Bob Seger action for you coming here in Detroit! <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Keep in the chair. <laughs> we are at the Two Hearted. Blue suede shoes. So let's see, we got the 180. It's got the, uh, what is that? It's Goodyear 606s on it. We come over here, we got the, uh, Cessna 170A. What do we got on this one? Oh, look at that. We got Aero Classic baby bush tires on that thing. 850 Aero Classics. I think, it's, I think it's kind of funny how this 180 over here has got them little dinky tires. Well, that's for speed. You don't need the small tires. <laughs> yeah. Over here, this 170B. Oh, it's got little baby bush tires too. 858s. Aero Classics, right? And then over here, oh, the Stinson. Look at that. Another 170. Yeah, it's got 858s on it. And this other 170 down there. Huh. He's He's got the baby bush tires also. That was the real deal. 